Nie. No nie wiem, właśnie słyszałem, aż się tu zatrzęsło. See how this dude turns out. Well, I've got control undead now that's under uh, frost. I got this new one called Shat Wraith Walk.
finish up my. So what happens to our demon hunter once it comes out? Do they stay? Uh, or do they get wiped and get out? No, they stay. Why would they? I don't know. No, nothing. Just like any other class. Or pop ups when people are talking. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all that stuff in the expansion. It's kind of kind of cool, more like an RPG game. I like that. Uh. As we wait... We as well handle some. Same fucking thing. It's set kind of before, I think. Oh, 
Come on up now. That's a broken shredder, right? Oh. I'm doing the starting thing for the arson. So as soon as that's done, I'm gonna go back to leveling my uh, inscription to 700. Are you doing it on your uh, demon hunter? Yeah, that's that's my main now. I'm gonna try to have all professions maxed out by the time the expansion comes out, but I already know that's not gonna happen. I'll try to get close though. It's not really, it wouldn't be that hard. I just don't have the time to to do it on all of them in, in time. Inscription by itself I've been doing for the last three days. I only have like an hour to play, hour and a half each day. So we'll 
levels yeah and plus it's uh, pretty much all my money pretty much went to that I think I can finish it with what I bought but uh, we'll see how f how much I'll have to spend on cooking and all that jazz Better than for digital? What do you mean? That digital collector's edition, the the fell hunter you get with that is different from the one that you get as a the actual demon hunter. Really? That's, that's, no, I think it's the same, isn't it? No, it's different. Look at your stuff. Because the one that you get. It's not a, it's not a, it's called a fell saber. Yeah. And the other one's called an Ildred fell stalker. You ride the little beast that attack you. You know, the, the four-legged, like, mini horses that, that attack you over here in the starting area? Oh, that one. What was that one for? That's for the click edition. Oh, okay, okay, that was digital, whatever, deluxe edition. Right. Huh. Interesting, I didn't know, didn't realize that till now. Yep. I like the one that you get for being a demon hunter a whole lot better than that one. Don't get me wrong, that's a cool one, but I like this one better because it's like it's got armor and everything on it. Yeah, it's a lot bigger too, it seems. Mm -hmm. So, Slum got back in town tonight. Not actually today, but I talked to him tonight, but, um, fuck, I was telling him my problem, and he's like, how the fuck does that happen? You know? So I explained, like I told you, it's because EVGA or Nvidia and Realtek having problems with the Windows 10 thing. If you restart, it shuts down the drivers. If it's if you restart or shut down and restart, then they work fine. Yeah, it's weird. It's definitely weird stuff. Oh yeah. Demon laser thing, I beam. Over fucking power, dude. Oh my goodness. I don't know, man. On higher level tunes, it doesn't do too much damage. But we'll I guess we don't really know for sure how everything works until the expansion is out. Yeah. They better not push it back, neither. I'll be pissed. Unless something unexpected comes out, I don't think we have to I'll worry. Tell you, have you watched the videos on No Man's Sky? Yeah. That game looks crypto. It was hard for me to buy. Legion. Really, man? I think that looks uh, fucking boring as fuck. I like survival games like that, though. Well, I don't know if it... Is that already a survival game? I don't know. You fly yeah. around... Run around, scan shit. I don't know. Seems fucking boring to me. Yeah, 
And for the first t t two or three planets, it's like new. I don't know. I watched Boogie stream it for like fucking five hours. But I watched a guy yeah, the guy get the first night. And the first planet is basically running around, but you're looking for parts to fix your ship. But you got to, you have to mine shit to keep your fucking, your uh, uh, enviro suit going, your jetpack going, uh, there's shit that fucking attacks you. Yeah, I mean, check it out. I mean, if you like that, then you like it. I love exploration, but for me that, that just, I don't know. Well, what bothers me about it, it's, it's an MMO, okay? Mmm... I don't even call it an MMO. Well, it either. is, because you play with, you know, th thousands of people. No, no, you don't. No, you d you have a chance of playing with somebody. It's not well, like... That's what I'm saying. It's, it, your chance of finding somebody is like one in a hundred thousand. Well, they say that, which we all knew is bullshit, and somebody found another player in the first day. So. Oh, did they really? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know that. They, I was watching that guy play. There was a big thing about it, and they said they'll look into it. They didn't expect that to happen, blah, 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 but... I don't know. Well, it, it, it's definitely a game that I want to buy, but I'm not going to buy it when it's 60 bucks. That was, that yeah. was my breaking point. Seems like, for me, something like that, I would say, like, thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Something like that would be a. But it being, you know, there's like 80 billion different planets, there's like, you know, 100 trillion miles of lights, you know, of. of um, distance between each plant, you know what I'm saying, there's just, it's supposed True. to be huge. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it seems, uh, but, like, my experience, Boogie went through, I think, five planets, four or five planets, and, yeah, yeah they're a little different, but they're not that much fucking different, because of the no. col color scheme and how everything looks, you know, it seems like, you sort of, different flavor of the same thing. Well, it's just that they're using the same kind of generator that Diablo 2 used for their dungeons. It's the same dungeon, you just don't go the same way, you know. So they just reskinned everything, but they're supposed to be all unique. There's supposed to be something unique about each one of them that you have to find. Yeah, yeah, they definitely, you know, configured differently. Right. Well, like I said, I, I wouldn't have bought Ark. But I, me and, me and Slum got Ark for free because we beta tested it. Yeah, now, we well. spent, yeah, I, yeah, it was free when we started it. Then it went to like 10 bucks and then it went to 19, now it's at 23 because it's got a big following. I mean, uh, but it's one of those games you can't play by yourself. I mean, you can, but what's the point? I mean, yeah, we can't get nobody can see. It's done. Well, it takes longer, but it's the whole point of progression, showing people what you, what you can survive with. And the only way people can see that is if you invite them to your server. Then you're taking a chance and they'll fucking shit up. Yeah, that would be fucking annoying. Yeah, it's already fucking annoying now, um, because there's people like Beta, for example. Beta played one night, so now I have a fucking dead body that I had to drag up under, had to hide underneath the, the base because shit was trying to attack, attack him, so when it attacks him, it attacks my base. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, so I drug him up underneath the fucking base and boxed him in. So if he ever wants to play, A, he's going to have to make a new tune, or he's going to have to get a hold of us, and I'm going to have to let him out of the, out of the cage. It, I don't know. I would have really... Th I think... I think I would personally like uh, No Man's Sky a lot more if you could uh, have more than one person in that ship. That would well, yeah. have, that would have worked for me a lot more than just like being alone all the time, basically.
What I found really cool was those uh, alien NPCs that you meet once in a while by ships and then stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, yeah, and that's uh, and that's one of the things that I found very interesting with uh, Robert, what's his name, it's RSI Industries. You know, it came out. I think that game is a a fucking vaporware. Yeah, they do have some single player shit that you can do and some PVP, but that's not what Wing Commander was about. <laughs> no kidding, man. No kidding. And I didn't even, and I didn't even play Wing Commander. I mean. I, I watched my buddy Chris play it because at that time I wasn't into computers, you know. But I watched him play it a lot, and he liked it, and it looked really good. The story behind it was awesome. Kind of reminds you of uh, The Last Starfighter, the movie, you know. Mm -hmm. And then this guy's like, you know, I remember, what, five, four years ago, what it was on, on uh, D4 TV when they had the E4 uh, spotlights or whatever they were talking about. I'm like, this looks pretty fucking badass. I mean, this is going to be the next big thing. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, and that's the same with, you know, fucking Camelot and Tank. You know, it, it looks fucking gorgeous, and it, it really wants to draw me in, but they keep on pushing it back, and he keeps on making stupid fucking decisions. You know, oh, here, listen, yeah. my wife is an accountant uh, over the business, and she has no accounting degree or have... Yeah, he, the, I forgot the guy's name, the fucking... Star Citizen guy just made that whole project into one big fucking scheme to get money. Oh, he got tons of money, dude. Tons. Now, if he came out and said, hey, uh, you know, I'm sorry for the delay, but here's the deal. You know, I'm waiting for VR to come out. I'm, you know, it's basically set, cause it's set for VR. You know, it's... So, once it goes big, then if he brought it out, they might come stick it, then that game would be really fucking badass in, in VR. Because if you're playing Elite Dangerous, you can tell that game is made for VR. You know what I'm saying? Because as of right now, you have to push buttons to turn your head, to open up panel, or you know, like um, certain screens to look at stuff. Mm -hmm. So you actually have to hit, like, let's say your Z button, and you'll open up the left control panel. Uh, and then you gotta use like your arrow, the arrow down, but you can tell that it's made for VR because your head moves towards that away. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. When they when they made those games, VR wasn't even had a thing. Elite Dangerous is made for VR. How is that even possible? I've got both copies. I've got a VR copy and I have the original copy. That well, was the uh, huh? Maybe they made one for VR, yeah. But I mean, when they when they started making Elite Dangerous, nobody even talked about VR. No, the only thing that was out was the occult, uh, the Rift. No, that wasn't out. It was talked about, but wasn't out. Elite Dangerous has been uh, in development for a little while. It's not like they just made it in the last two years. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. But when it when they brought it out to buy, it was VR ready. Hmm, maybe I don't know. I didn't follow it too much. Fucking Star Citizen killed all those fucking games for me. Got so pissed off. Slum has said the HTC one from uh, from uh, Steam mm -hmm. is actually the best one to get. That's what I heard too. Yeah. 
Isn't that also the most expensive one out of the three or four? Yeah, it's like nine hundred bucks. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure but, the price will go down with time, but still. But I think that's because you get everything. I mean, you get the you get the helmet, you get the the pads for your hand. Um, I think you get the, the the four speakers that you're supposed to put around you for the sound. Um, all kinds of things that you get with it. Not like the Colt, like the the riff where you get the helmet, and I think you got to buy extra stuff. That is true. This one has a lot more hardware. And mm -hmm. bit, yeah. I'm kind of thinking if I'm gonna come. Whoops. Really, you're gonna attack me? That's a little far. I'm, I'm hoping the one that Sony brings out for the uh, PlayStation 4, I'm, I'm hoping that one there can stand up to the Steam one. I wouldn't count on it. I mean, if it don't, it's it, it, it's a waste. I don't even know why they didn't bring it out. Well, they, they do need one for their machine, right? So yeah. hopefully they'll, like you say, hopefully it will hold... Uh, hold up against the other competition. The competition is pretty stiff, that's for sure. Especially that HTC one, and that um, there's a lot of people that's reviewing it online, yeah, and seems like that's the one, for sure. And, you know, honestly, what killed the Colt Rift is when uh, Zuckerberg bought into it. That's when that price went through the fucking roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. He decided to cash in on it, for sure. I mean, as soon as people found out that uh, that he bought into it, he like they're like, nope, I ain't touching it. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'll do the VR thing, to be honest. It seems like, based on what's coming out and what's happening, it almost seems like, unless you get the one for PC, that the console ones at least will take a little while to sort of have cool stuff for them, but I don't know. It's called HTC Buy. That thing is like, because it's got like uh, 2160 by 1200 combined resolution at 90 hertz refresh rate. 90 hertz, you know how amazing that is, Crypter? No idea. I don't think you when can the actually LED sense the difference. Uh, when the flat screen came out, they were around 60. Then they went to 120, and then to 40, and then of course into 4K. This is 90 hertz, which is like three times is the refresh rate than what your monitor's got right now because yours is at 60. so it's going to be a, a flawless that was 93 times it's got 32 headset sensors for 360 motion tracking none of the other ones has got anything remotely close to that 
Well, I mean, that's another thing. They all work a little differently. I don't believe the other ones require the motion tracking. Um, which in turn might make them cheaper, but then again, who knows if the whole experience doesn't suffer. I don't know man, it's just so early right now, it's hard to... I mean, I haven't even tried any of them, so what the hell do I know? Well, same here, I mean, I'm just going off with stats, you know, just... I could play one of my MMOs in there, mm, then I would be extremely um, interested. You can. Crypto, they're, they, they all oh, play the games. Yeah, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything amazing about them. I don't know. I mean, none of this stuff is really made for them, so I don't know how they experience is but something like with nice graphics like Elder Scrolls or something like that that would be uh, pretty cool okay I'm watching a video of a guy playing World of Warcraft what they call the Rift let's Oculus see what like. Rift Him kill anything yet? That's okay. This is PvP. That would be very cool, man. Yeah. Like getting into an MMO in 3D would be a whole new level of immersion. That would be pretty. Seems like a fucking awesome idea. On my screen, everything looks concave. From um, center being closest to your face and it wraps outward, or is that the other one? I don't know. But it looks really good, though. I mean, it's. Um, I don't know if, if he's playing first person on purpose or that's the only way you can play. When I uh, finally got my, my via card all set back up and everything, Cryptor, yeah. I looked into playing on s surround on the, the screen. Let me tell you what. If you've got two monitors, Cryptor, mm -hmm. and if, you're, if your video card can handle the surreal or surround, whatever it's called on the screen, it's not the surround sound, but the, it's a surround something, I can't remember what it's called. But the only problem is it's your character right in the middle, in between the two fucking monitors, where mine's got the gap, you know? Besides that, mm -hmm. besides that, dude, playing on that, dude, where the world wraps around you, 
Oh, I've got cold chills. I'm telling you right now, dude. If I had the eleven hundred dollars, I could just say, "Hey, honey, I want to buy that twenty-seven inch ultra wide. It would be mine. Curved, curved ultra wide. It's crypto. It, I played WoW for a little bit, but I couldn't do it because it split my my character in half. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But just the the panoramic view that you get with it. <laughs> you can Dude, do three care. monitors, I think, right? With one in the middle. With my with, with my video card, I can do four. I've, six, I've seen a guy do four where he like does three in front of him and one a little higher up. Yeah. But you have to it, it doesn't it doesn't set right because you can't move your character. You can't justify left or right. He's always in the fucking middle of the screen. Or at least I haven't done that easy. Because if I could get him my character to move over to say my to my, my main screen where nothing's cut in half on him and the rest on the other side is just bland or you know scenery or whatever dude it's fucking gorgeous mm. now in Eve, too expensive though Eve can do that Eve you can justify left or right you can move your your you can justify the position of, of your ship one way or the other well wow you can't do that and that sucks But technically, I can take off the trim around both my monitors, and I can put them together, and I'll have the small seam down the middle. But they said when you do that, you have chances of dirt and dust getting in there uh, behind the screen, and it's not worth it. So I told the wife, I said, you can give me that 30, that 32 inch ultra wide. Uh, curved monitor for Christmas, if you would, and she's like, I ain't spending a thousand dollars there on the screen. Yeah, they're super expensive. I haven't seen oh, one, yeah. but uh, everybody who um, reviewed one online said they're amazing. Well, the reason why I want one is because my buddy Emil, he's got a 27 inch ultra wide curved, and um, he has an HD camera they set up and I watched him play um, oh what the frick is that game it's not it's not Elder Scrolls but it's kind of like it but just a single player game you know um, just the way that screen was curved and the way that it, where his character was it's just time. amazing dude I was like oh yeah but I was down at, down at the Micro Center they had a 32 inch set up uh, just playing some HD videos and it was fucking amazing it really makes me want to take my, my computer into my 60 inch in the front room. Hmm. And to be honest, if the old lady would have thrown a fit, down there at the micro center when I was building her computer, she would have said, No, I don't know why. If she would have said that one more time that she didn't need one, I would have built me another computer for the front room. But she's she's fucking happy though because she's watching some H HD 4K videos and stuff. She's like, Oh my god, this is so amazing. I'm like, Yeah, quit being so fucking. Whatever you want to call it, you don't want nothing. Because <laughs> my wife's one of the type of people is, I don't need a new computer. But when you walk by, she'd be like, This thing's so goddamn slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, give you hints, but don't want you to, you know, buy it. No, no, you tell me that your shit fucking sucks, I'm gonna fix it.
right outside this cave where you want to curse. But, reading some of the stuff, it says um, that if you, uh, if your monitor's not set up for VR, or if your video card's not completely compatible, um, it won't look good. I mean, you know, it'll look funky. Playing games that are not VR, you know what I'm saying? But, it shouldn't matter because everything is played into your I need to goggles. Go. I don't know, but I'm thinking this whole VR thing will probably make me switch to the console. Just because it's like, it's, I don't know, less than 30% of the cost of actually having the same thing on the computer. Well, and that's, yeah, and see, and that's what I'm, that's what I've been looking, I'm, that's what I said, I'm hoping that the, the one that, that's for the, uh, for the PS4, I'm hoping that it's just as good. Yeah, I mean, even if it's not just as good, but like 85% there or 90. Oh shit, 90% of uh, performance for, you know, fraction of the price, I think that's a good deal. Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, you're going to pay, it's supposed to be less than the PS4, so maybe 200 bucks. Yeah. So if it's 200 bucks, and I'm able to play Valkyrie. I'm sold. Yeah, exactly. Valkyrie, yeah. Valkyrie is the game that I'm waiting for. I don't know what everybody else is waiting for. I'm waiting for Valkyrie. Gunship would be okay, but that's more of a you know a shoot 'em up type game. You know, you sit in one spot, you shoot shit as it comes by. But Valkyrie is actually you controlling a, a fighter and um, crazy shit going on. Yeah, I definitely want that one as well. Um, whereas, you know, like, I would have to buy a whole new computer, basically. So, that alone would be probably three grand. No, creepy, no way, dude. Easy. 1080 card will be over a thousand bucks by itself. Crypter? I only paid 419 for mine. Yeah, you don't have a 1080 though. I got a 1070. Yeah. Which does exactly the same thing. If you benchmark them, they're the same. Yes and no. But the way, I mean, most. Uh, every single computer I ever build over the years ends up being somewhere between 2 grand and 3. I spent sixteen hundred dollars minus. That's not. I mean, that's including the the discounts and stuff like that that you got from buying from Microsoft. But I bought an i5. Um, I bought a fairly super decent video card for the wife. I bought my video card. I bought another processor. I bought a four six of RAM. Uh, a two hundred and fifty gig uh, SSD. And the power supply, it was only like, well, it would have been like $1,900, but I got it for all 16 and that, that's fixing three computers. Yeah, yeah. The Nevada uh, 1080, and actually it's higher in, in America. It's 6.99, and the little f, f on where that's written or whatever, it's 6.19. That's for the Founders Edition, but for the regular edition uh, version, it's uh, 5.99. Uh, it is 
I guess the 1080 is quite a bit, I mean, quite a bit better. I mean, you know, but then again, you can buy a console that will do VR and really cool games for half the price. Yeah. Of that, so. I don't know, like, once it comes the time for me to upgrade or whatever, build something because my computer is gonna start dying and whatever happens. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see myself saying, you know, that justifying that, uh, that amount of money. Well, the, uh, let me see, what's deep on 4K? Uh, yeah. Especially now that, like, you know, the guild is not what it used to be. Because otherwise it would have been a different star. Unless it keeps growing in WoW like it is now, which so far it's been doing pretty good. Well, like I said, you should never, you know, hatch your chickens or whatever it is before, you know. I will tell you, I'm, I'm enjoying Legion, this new stuff, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, shit, once it, uh, it's actually out, uh, the new area should be pretty cool. I mean, I'm super happy that they went with, uh, you know, every single area in the expansion scaling to your level. I, I don't, I never oh. like... I never liked that idea where, you know, you can go to some places, but not to others. Because some of them are higher level than what you need, this way it's all scaling with you. So they like, I think that was Guild Wars 2, right? That did that. Yes. Except for, um, the, uh, the Fractals, which they just kept on scaling. They never stopped. Mm -hmm. Remember how you do 5 and then 5 and... Speaking of that, I, I need to uh, download that son of a bitch and because they just added a new, completely new era, area. Well, for VR purposes, Victor, um, the 1080 does outdo the, the, the 1070. But, um, yeah, but uh, they're saying it kind of depends on which uh, VR system that you use. 
because if you if you buy one of the lower end ones, um, they both do about the same because of the uh, they have a peak of what they can do. Now, if you bought like um, the, one of the most expensive ones, they were saying the uh, HTC, the 1080 will outperform the 1070, but it's not really something that your brain's gonna be able to process. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always I always like to have so, uh, the card that you know is a little more powerful than what you need, so it doesn't have to work as hard and you know be mm -hmm. at its you know as opposed to having to work at ninety five percent of what it can do at all times. Maybe it can work at seventy. You know? Yep. We'll keep it cool. Well, like I said, my, my buddy Chris says he's not buying any of the VR stuff until it comes out in October for the PlayStation. <clears throat> then he is going to buy that one. So I will be able to get hands-on playtime to see what it's like before I buy it. That's awesome. Ah, so maybe I can justify with you with, through me, you know, what's going to be better. But Slum didn't get to play his brother's HTC because his brother was in Spain, so he can't give us any input on it. But, I just wish they'd make one that would be compatible with all systems, console and PC. Yeah, never gonna happen, but that would be ideal. Well, especially with Windows switching over to the pay as you, you know, use it. I mean, me just having Windows 10 makes me want to go out and buy an Xbox. Amazon's lightning deals. You can get so much. Hmm. I never check those out. I don't have a well, I, you can get this. Uh, it's called a, a Polar Fail model. It's a 20,000 M power bank, 8,000 8, MAH universal. Um, it's usually 50 bucks. You can get it for 12.99. Okay, we're over an hour. I'm gonna. Cut this for today. See you guys tomorrow.